so off we go. Quite impressive. It's gonna take me a day to get used to the car, so Moran is gonna drive because he's been already driving it for over a month. Good morning, Misha. Good morning, Moran. Got a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I would be surprised if it. Power is it running? Five, six hundred. Okay. Hello. Um, lot of newton meters of torque. There's a little bit of a lag in a fourth gear. Okay. Since but the engine and the big turbo are in the back, I think I should switch my microphone to be rear biased. So off we go.
The grip is crazy. It's crazy for a fucking 930 Turbo. With no ABS, no ESC, no traction, nothing. nothing. Incredible. Yeah. A little bit too sharp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need a video of that for the speedometer. Okay. That's <laughs> fucking sick, isn't it? It is. It was very, quite easy driving. Yeah. Say. Yeah, because it, it was still wet in some places. Yeah. <laughs> and, some, and some traffic and. Okay, let me do a quick walk around after the lap. Underneath the frunk, we can see Nuke Performance fuel system. It also is actually running an EFI fuel injection system. It has also air jack system that you can see so the car can raise itself up. So not just like hydraulic stance things, but actually functional race car. The front, the headlights are actually also custom made, modified. I don't think you need any introduction when it comes to RWB, wide body styling. Actually, what's very important underneath, what makes the car handle this way it handles, is here, it's KW, Club Sport, three-way adjustable suspension. Now, it has been slightly modified to fit the car and work also more, more better, so it's not just custom, off the, it's not just off-the-shelf KW, it's even, um, it's even more modified. More importantly, it's on the front, if you haven't seen the video from Spa, 295 tires on the front. Yeah, most of the cars are not even running that on the rear. BBS E88 wheels, same goes on the rear, and you can guess what the tire size is on the rear. It is, namely, let me find it quickly for you, somewhere in the shadow, hard to find, oh, there we go, underneath, 335. 335 wheels on the rear, tires on the rear. I think we can find it here better. Again here, upside down. <laughs> 335, wide, wide, wide. Now on the back, of course, the turbo that you all have heard, the blow off. It's a custom built, custom made turbo. Originally the car came with a 3.3 liter engine, but it's now running 3.4 liter engine, the race modified. With the current low boost setting with the turbo, the car is running 470 horsepower, low boost. And I believe it was seven or 800 newton meters of torque. The car is capable to run 800, 900 horsepower with up to two bar. Now that's going to be ridiculous if you would ever do that. Even that already was, was, <laughs> was crazy. On the interior, also worth noting, the seats are from the 996 GT2. Yeah, custom OEM, very beautiful. CAE short shifter, uh, speedometer isn't working. <laughs> That's why they were, we were running the race navigator speedometer, GPS. The Porsche GPS radio infotainment system for classic cars, very nice. Roof, carbon fiber, as you can see actually. Custom made by Nakai-san from RWB. Cage, and yeah, a lot more makes the car yeah like every the more you look at it it has so many unique aspects it's not just only wide body it's not only the custom suspension or the custom wheels or the engine work it is really really yeah definitely one of the most exclusive cars that I have lapped in and actually there's going to be a lot more because I heard soon there's gonna be a 993 RWB maybe 996 but yeah, this already, I would say, not say, I wouldn't say guilty pleasure because it's not bad. It's definitely one of the dream cars or actually one of the most iconic cars and definitely like a bucket list item. I think that's a proper way. Bucket list item to have had. So massive thank you to the owner for allowing us to experience the car and have fun with it. And also thank you to Nakai-san for building something like that and all the other companies involved. So. I'm gonna include the Instagram name of the owner so you can give him a follow or ask him more questions about it. But this already was spectacular. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the upcoming RWB video. Now I'm gonna go get some pancakes.